Well, hello, everybody. Happy Movie Monday. I bet you can't guess what we're going to watch today. If you guessed the seven-year itch, well, then congratulations. You're quite the Mar Marilyn Monroe fan. But no, that's not what we're going to watch. My wife said she wanted to watch a Marilyn Monroe movie. And like the next day, we were shopping and I found this dress. And oh my gosh, I had to get it. it, it the, the dress is very similar to the one that Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe wore in The Seven Year Itch, where she has that scene that she's on the subway grate and the wind blows up her skirt. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a subway grate here in Utah probably because we don't have subways. Maybe I can get my wife to crank up the leaf blower and blow it up just for, just for the video. Um, but anyway, I've only seen, I think, three Marilyn Monroe movies. Of course, I've seen Some Like It Hot. I think that's like a requirement. And I've seen How to Marry a Millionaire, and I've seen most of The Seven Year Itch. But my wife wants to watch Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Um, so that should be fun. I hope you'll come along with us. And if not, see you on Foxy Friday. Well, since it's a cold, rainy day, we decided to just spend the day in bed and watch our movie in bed. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready? I think so. Okay, let's do it. We're just two little girls from Little Rock. I need to see if I can find a dress like that at one of the thrift stores. I don't think you're going to find a dress like that at a thrift store. I can try. <laughs> oh, there's no what kind of a dinner party is this? Here, put this on. <sighs> Francois will help me. Yeah, Very, you know. So, isn't it interesting how often in movies a man winds up wearing women's clothing? It is kind of interesting. Almost like it's a universal thought in everybody's mind that this is something interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. We're getting down to brass tacks. You admit that all you're after is money. No, I don't. Don't you know that a man being rich is like a girl being pretty? You might not marry a girl just because she's pretty, but my goodness, doesn't it help? And if you had a daughter, wouldn't you rather she didn't marry a poor man? But I was... You'd want her to have the most wonderful things in the world and to be very happy. Oh, why is it wrong for me to want those things? Well, I can see that... Say, they told me you were stupid. You don't sound stupid to me. I can be smart when it's important, but most men don't like it. Except Gus. He's always been interested in my brain. French have done. Die for love, they like in duels, but I prefer a man who lives and gives expensive jewels. A kiss on the hand may be continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. Diamonds! I don't mean rhinestones! Diamonds are a girl's best, best friend. Woo! Well, 
another successful Movie Monday. It was really fun getting to dress up like Marilyn. I've never done that before. Um, but of course, the best part was seeing my wife and how much she enjoyed the movie and singing along and laughing at the jokes and such. The jokes were actually some of my least favorite parts because I think most of the humor was kind of cliche. At least it's cliche by today's standards. Um, and the acting's only so-so. But, I mean, it's Marilyn, so she's such a study in feminine movement and sexuality that she's just fun to watch. Um, I've never really been a big fan of ditzy blondes, although my, probably my first celebrity crush was Cheryl Ladd from Charlie's Angels, and I don't remember if she was ditzy or not, but she was definitely blonde. Oh, and the movie did have kind of a, a good moral, as they usually do, even though someone may be at attracted to you because of your looks or your money, it doesn't necessarily... It's not necessarily a bad thing, as long as that's not the whole reason they like you. People are always attracted to things like that, but then when you dig beneath it, if you're attracted to what's beneath it, well, then that's what really matters. Well, thanks for coming along for the ride, and I guess I'll see you on Friday.